November in the year 1895, a dense yellow fog had settled down over London. For four or five days, it's impossible from our rooms in Baker Street to see the outline of the houses up. First day, Holmes had spent his cross indexing his huge book of criminal references. Second and third had been patiently occupied with a subject which he recently made his hobby the music of the Middle Ages. But when on the fourth day, on pushing back our chairs after breakfast, we saw the greasy, heavy brown swirl still drifting past us and condensing in oily drops upon the window pane. Sherlock Holmes' impatient and active nature could endure this drab existence no longer. He paced restlessly about our sitting room, chafing against the inaction. Have you been in the paper, Watson? The revolution, the possible war, and the pending change in the government. Nothing to interest you, though. <laughs> Crimes of any London criminal is certainly a dull and unenterprising fellow these days. Tell them to watch me. Come in. Come in. Yes, Mrs. Hudson, what is it? Excuse me, Mr. Holmes, but there's a gentleman to see you. Says it's most important that he asked me to give you this card. Oh, thank you. Oh. What a Mahali, eh? What a Mahali and who is he? What a Mahali, eh? What a Mahali and who is he? What a Mahali, eh? What a Mahali and who is he? You're stupid, but I have never heard of the headless monk or whatever it is, Jeff. Well, then let me tell you about it, Doctor. The Venice Manor in Goyle was once an abbey. It was expropriated during the reign of Henry VIII. In some of the uh, in some of the minor difficulties attendant on such an act, but one of the murdered monks, a certain brother Hugh, the chapel organist, was persistent. He still haunts the chapel today. He still plays the organ, and since he was beheaded, he always appears headless. <laughs> Down there. Oh, the place is full of weather, Watson. What? I'm much more concerned with the fog that surrounds the appearances of the headless monk of the Venice Chapel. Mr. Harley, I accept your invitation with pleasure. There's still time to catch the Cornish Express. We can be at the Venice Manor before the moon is up. I believe it was a psychic manifestation. He certainly looks as if he came from beyond the grave. Oh, be gentlemen, where be you going? Well, suppose you tell us who you are first, my good man. Who be I? I be David Pendragon, sir. That's who I be. Stable and here at the manor. I ask you gentlemen again, where you be going? We are staying at the manor. And we're just going to take a look at the chapel. Oh, don't he do that, sir. People that go in there don't often come out the way they go in, sir. Don't he do it, gentlemen. What are you talking about? I be talking about the ghoulies, the ghosties, and the organ music that comes out of the nowhere. You, you have? Of course I heard it. Just like I seen the poor monk walking around without his head on. Take us into the chapel, will you? And I'm sure it's ready to get here. Great Scott. Listen to that. The organ. The ghost play music. Steve, watch it. I get manifestation of the easy enter. Remarkable. Father, this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Sir? How do you do? Enough 
trouble in the neighborhood already. It's almost impossible to keep servants. And these Cornish people are incredibly superstitious. You haven't seen the ghost yourself, Mr. Brown, then? Oh, of course not. There isn't a ghost, I tell you. Have you heard the mysterious organ playing? Hmm? Uh, no, uh, no, no, I haven't. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. What I says to myself is, what made him play the organ? Then this very night, I saw the headless monk. With my own eyes, I saw that poor soul with his head off, hundred in the moonlight. I saw that too with my own eyes, I did. Oh, get out of here, you blithering old fool. And I warn you, if I hear any more nonsense about this ghost, you'll lose your job, you understand? Now come along, be off with you. Pleasantly into the evils of the Black Mass. Black Mass? The practice of black magic is a criminal offense. But this is well, the old laws against witchcraft are still in force. Oh, it's very pleasant to sit here after a good dinner with a superb brandy at one's elbow. <laughs> Listen to the piano being so charmingly played. The 
Adventure of the Devil's Foot. Music is by Dean Fossler. Mr. Rathbone appears through the courtesy of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Mr. Bruce through the courtesy of Universal Pictures, where they are now starring in the Sherlock Holmes series. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.